wildly popular among elementary and middle school aged children, and it is easy to make at home. Of course, I'm talking about slime, but before you let your kids whip it up, a warning from doctors who say one ingredient could be putting the kids at risk. Homemade slime. Kids like eight-year-old Redford and 12-year-old Russell love to make and play with that gooey, gooey toy. Slime. Slime. A quick search online brings up thousands of recipes for slime. Many use household items like glue and cornstarch. But there is another common ingredient, and it can be more dangerous. And we pick a tablespoon of borax out. Borax, a household cleaner. Dr. Amy Romashko, director of urgent care at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, says borax can be harmful if inhaled. On its own, when it's diluted, made into slime, the risk is probably pretty low. But borax, although it's a natural chemical, it can be lethal in higher doses in kids and adults. She says think of it like baking with flour. Kids don't always keep the flour in the bowl like an adult. So it's just a little bit smarter to have the adults doing the measuring and making sure that it makes it into the, the other mixture without exposure to the child. Symptoms to watch for include respiratory complaints and eye irritation. A good safe way to do this is if you're going to play with it, great, but then wash your hands afterward. Another option is to make slime without borax. We asked Redford and Russell to try one. Baking soda, la laundry detergent, and glue. The kids enjoyed making and playing with this slime, too. And super slippery as you hold it. Kids do love making that stuff. If you think your child, though, is having a reaction to slime or its ingredients, you can call the Poison Control Center or your local pediatrician for advice. I don't get it. That stuff's all over my house. Yeah, I know. What are you guys doing?